On previous episodes, I've professed my love for my paint sprayer, but I understand not everyone has access to one. So today I'm gonna to give you tips on how to paint an interior door and get a nice smooth finish without a paint sprayer. Before you get started, remove the hinge pin so you can paint the door laying flat. Here's the first tip for you is to use three three inch screws two in the top and one in the bottom of your door. That way you don't have to wait for one side of the door to dry before you can paint the other. Where you put the screws doesn't have to be exact and you'll never see the holes left behind. Taking off your doorknobs when you're painting a door isn't totally necessary, but you're gonna get such a better finish if you do take it off because then you don't have to cut around the doorknob can always tell when someone doesn't take their doorknob off. The same thing goes for your hinges too. My door is in really good shape, so I don't have to worry about sanding before I apply a fresh coat of paint. But if you have some chipping paint on your door, you really need to address it before you paint it. I've been a bit obsessed with navy blue lately. This is Naval by Sherwin-Williams. I love the idea of painting a closet door a fun color because it's not going to mess up with the flow of your house because you're probably not going to see it from any other room, but you get that fun pop of color where you might otherwise have a blank wall. I'm using a regular paintbrush to cut in the corners and edges of my recessed panels first. I'm going to be using a high density foam roller cover so it's not going to leave any texture behind like a normal nap roller would, and that's going to give us the smooth finish that we want. Going from a light color to a dark color and vice versa usually requires two coats, but you still want to roll over any lap lines to reduce them from showing through the final coat. Once you're done with the first side, pick up the door with the two screws at the top and rotate the door on the screw attached to the bottom. Then you're ready to paint the other side. I always like to apply the paint in small strokes, but then immediately go back with one long roll over the entire surface to smooth it out. The second coat always goes a lot faster than the first. Let your paint dry a few hours before reattaching any hinges and doorknobs. My last trick involves painter's tape. Now, even though your door may be dry to the touch, it isn't fully cured for a few more hours. So in order to be able to hang it and close it, all you have to do is apply painter's tape to your door jam, and that'll keep your fresh paint job from sticking to the paint on your door jam and ruining your new door paint. Reset the hinge pins, remove the tape, and your door is ready to shine. I've got so many projects to share with you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.